hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to play around with cursor view as well as the indicator view that has been uh, in a stable release in xamarin forms 5.0 and we don't need to add any experimental flags inside xamarin forms 5.0 so stay tuned at first we should have our xamarin forms 5.0 installed so i have already discussed about xamarin forms 5.0 that right now supports our cursor as well as the indicator view so we'll be adding xamarin forms 5.0 and then selecting android ios as well as the shared project now our next work is to set our main page as our starting page as we know that then uh, i have already added the code in order to show the demo previously so you can see over here we have very basic grid and then we are going to add our causal view followed by our indicator view so you can see over here we have our user collection which gets all this item from our view models and then we have one image and whose source is binding user image this can be easily visualized with the help of simulator so our simulator will show up our all the indicator view contents as well as the indicator view and uh, the causal view is going to collect all our items from our user collection that is our view models folder and with the help of this x name we are going to call the indicator view items with the help of causal view so you can see over here we have our the collection item observable collection it's a list of items that will be collected to the view by the help of our dot cs class and all the binding is done within that cs class that's why i have used binding context equals to this and then user collection is going to be fed with this model class objects that is our user image that is going to be fed with the image you can use some uh, url links and then display it uh, in the both android and ios so let's run the app again and then to see uh, our final output so this is our final output that you can see and these images are saved inside my resources folder of our android and resources folder of our ios so the drawable folder and the resource folder of ios that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials